first came to New York, and uh, it was through Marian Nowak and Virginia Admiral. And uh, she was very beautiful. I mean, the name Minerva suited her. She was one of the most beautiful women physically. And we just had a great time. I used to sit around and, and uh, in Virginia's kitchen. She had an old-fashioned with 50s kitchen. And I'd be sitting there, and Minerva and Marianne would, t would go on and on and talk, and Virginia and I would just be quiet, and we'd listen to them. Um, the three of them, uh, they were really a threesome. And Minerva, when it comes to anatomy, Minerva really knows her stuff. Experience, and uh, Minerva has been extremely, I hate to be this sweet, but she has been absolutely encouraging, helpful, and uh, that's it. It's um, Minerva's vision, and, and she's uh, realized it in a way that, that uh, I can't think of any other place that has. And, uh, you, you just can't put a price tag on that. I just can't say enough good about it. Minerva is a miracle worker. I don't know how she managed to conceive of this thing, put it together, keep it going. Gratitude forever. Minerva is a wonderful person who, um, who, who, who can manage all this on her own. Can you believe that? <laughs> I have a lot of help. When I started coming up on Wednesday nights for quick calls, and I became, I felt like Minerva saved my life for the stuff that I was going through at that time. And we used to hang out afterwards, and it was, it was really, it, it really did save my life. Minerva has this wealth of information, of uh, a memory, an amazing memory, and um, she tells some very, very interesting stories. It's actually a kind of institution uh, in Soho, and um, she's known beyond the people in the school. Somebody told me, he said, she, you know, and her <laughs> And the other thing that I think makes Minerva an extraordinary teacher is that she has dedicated her whole life mm -hmm. to this place, the Spring Studio, I think. Was it there for 25 years? 25 mm -hmm. years. But the other thing is, what's unique about the is she cares about her models. I mean, no moving where her needed a place to live, and she's like a mother to them. She even actually helped someone be buried that was a model here for a long time. And when she died, she got everybody from the league had to pictures of her, doing pictures of her studio. So I mean, she loves the people that she works with, that work for her. I don't think of Minerva as a person. I think of her. This is really no bullshit. I really think of you as a force of nature. Holy shit, this woman really, really was good. I mean, so Minerva has really allowed me to do art. Oh, you weren't going to do it anyway. No. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I really love this place. And Minerva has been a fantastic guide. I just want to say in closing that I'm very grateful to Minerva. And all my experiences with her, not only has she been a great mentor to me, but she's been a best friend for all these years. And we've been involved with each other's families, and we have many experiences together, ups and downs. I want to tell you that Minerva's Drawing Studio, aka Spring Studio, is just about my favorite place on earth. It really is. It is, it is such a nurturing, creative space run by Minerva, who is mother of courage and a great artist and one of the most remarkable people I have ever met. And it is such a blessing to have her in my life. I never want to be without. So I cannot recommend this place enough. 
it's it's a magical, wonderful place. But Ed Minerva has a vet, she has classes and and uh, just open drawing centers and and events and wonderful things. So come here, come here. And at Minerva's drawing studio. So we have to keep it open so that I can spend my retirement here. <laughs> I love this place. Thank you, Sue. Thank you. Thank you. I prefer to remain anonymous. Uh, <laughs> and I don't like giving away the best kept secrets of New York. So it is the most flexible thing I have ever seen anywhere, which is encouraging to all artists. I love the Nervous Studio because it's a place where artists can practice their skills. It's, high, it's uh, focused on life drawing. And uh, that's, that's something I find very unique. It's, uh, there's not many places that have a concentration like that. I love this space. And I, uh, I love Minerva for creating it. It begins, there is silence. There's absolute silence. And there's no way to describe, unless you've been here, when you're in a room full of people and each person has their own Space and time going. This drawing. Um, there is a portrait workshop today. I feel sorry for artists who don't live in New York because they don't have access to this place. I, I don't think there's anything like it. You don't sign up for anything, you don't have to commit yourself to anything. You just come when you want to. But also, as a New Yorker, um, it means a huge deal to me to know that Spring Studio exists. This place about drawing, the value of drawing, the importance of drawing, seven days a week, drop in, affordable, incredibly well run, fabulous models. Minerva should be a national treasure. Her knowledge, her generosity, and her unflagging belief in the truth and the beauty of life drawing is a gift to all of us. I've been coming to the studio since 2011, and a beautiful community has been brought into my life. And, uh, it is a place to be, and it is a place that is needed, who love drawing, who love art, who love painting, who love, uh, love people as well. You're welcome here. Everyone is welcome to draw here. Whatever your skill level is, you pick up inspiration from the other artists, and I think that's what's the most amazing thing about, about you know, the studio was that everyone can come here and draw. I'm originally from Belfast in Northern Ireland and I came to New York in 2006 to start a project involving film, drawing and painting about the rebuilding of the World Trade Center. And I'd always wanted to draw the human figure and I'd had some experiences, I mean I hadn't done very much learning but I'd been to a few classes in London and unfortunately the teacher I had was very academic and very strict and there was a right way to do things and when I, when I first met Minerva I, I came to Spring Studio and from the moment I met her I realized that this is one of the most extraordinary and unique places anywhere in the world and I'm sure that any, a lot of the people I've spoken to who have come to Spring Studio for a long time all agree in one thing and that is that Minerva is a truly extraordinary woman and one of the things I really love about drawing here is the sense that it feels like a very safe place. It's not a place where there's judgment or egos and there's an open heartedness about the way Minerva teaches people and allows them to become themselves and find their own voice and find their own way of drawing that I think is completely unique. And I think she, I'm sure everyone who has been here for a long time would agree that she's probably one of the greatest teachers of New York City. And another of the many extraordinary things here that I love about it is the incredible range of different models you get to draw from all ages, all different ethnic and different colors, different regions of the world. There's honestly nowhere else like this in the world. I mean, I lived for many years in Paris and also London. There is nothing like this in any of those other cities. The other thing is it's been this amazing place of learning to me. I can't tell you how amazing it's been to have a resource to come and learn at my own pace and as it opens up about 
anatomy, about how the body works, about both the deep parts and the bones and the muscles, and also the different types of drawing. Um, and the last thing is it's also been a place of inspiration to see someone like Minerva who's kept drawing live and kept it going for 25 years in the city. It's just beautiful, and that's an inspiration to me as a person and as an artist. I've been at Minerva Studio for many years, and it's been an honor and a privilege to be here. A place of personal expression. It's family. It's a long life. It's education. It's modeling. It's working. It's bartending. It's throwing parties. It's hanging shows. It's teaching. Mm -hmm. Nikolai is celebrating Nicolaides or Wednesday morning Nicolaides class. So I've worn many hats in the studio in the past 25 years. <laughs>
in the nervous studio for about 20 years and I'm at the point now where I can use watercolor and um, a, lot of, um, a lot of different tones I find in the body, like bluish tones for shadows, uh, purplish, and plus she gets a lot of uh, many ethnic models too, so we've got to understand the body and the, and the anatomy of the form very well. You know, I came as a renegade English professor and writer, um, and I fell in love. And Minerva was wonderful and is wonderful, and asked me if I might want to teach the Nicolaitis class, because she said that my lines were similar to what uh, Nicolaitis taught, it's in alignment with that. And Minerva helped me find my voice because of it. She allowed me to be terrible. I'm a New Yorker from Brazil. My father is Chinese, my mother is Japanese, and they are met to Minerva six years ago. It's like drawing, you draw nude people. And I said, you know, people don't walk around nude. They walk around with clothes on, and that's how they express themselves. You're not really drawing the real people. And Cygnus said, cut the BS, just show up. Just look at it. Basically, you're using minimal means to represent the world. In order to draw, you have to do an abstraction. You have to find the minimal thing that will represent the item that you feel should be represented. People do, perhaps with painting or with photography, they're, they're doing this this jump to this abstraction. And when you're drawing a human being, you know right away whether you have reached the human being, whether you've represented the human being, because you know that human being. You're concerned with other human beings. Very powerful connection with your object, and yet you have minimal need. So you're learning a lot. Uh, in my mid-30s, I went to uh, Fashion Institute Technology, and I majored in illustration. And a guy told me, um, yo, there's this place down on Spring Street you can draw, because I was very into drawing from the model. Um, and I had learned that love when I was in high school of art and design. Um, I started drawing. We drew from the models, but we were the models, We were because we were high school students. It was in the 70s. And um, you couldn't do new modeling because it was a high school back then. They, and so we would draw each other clothes. And I began to realize I had a um, um, uh, love for it. Uh, and I was good at it. I do this, and I could, this is what I was meant to do. And I love it. I cannot stop. I'm addicted to it. Now. <laughs> um, I think the beauty of Minerva's studio and the beauty of her as a person, as an artist, and as a teacher is that she brings you various forms of the human body, not just one type, all types. Where do you become an artist? Minerva gives me the ability through the studio to teach myself, to stand on my own two feet, and to think for myself. And what has led to today is I want to do portraits that engage you, that look back at you. And I've also already <clears throat> experienced professional artist and been kind of successful. But here, when I came here, I had to start my life from the scratch, from the beginning. Um, it is, it's a wonderful journey. It's, it takes a lot of work, there's dedication involved, there's a lot of um, insight as well as discipline. But once you're with Minerva, it's, it's a joyous, Journey. Thank you. Yes, from Australia. I don't know how I learned about this place. I've been coming five, five years, six years, six years mm -hmm. something. Five or six. And I'm very very retentive, but I basically commuted 16,933.33 kilometers to come here. <laughs> as I have this time. Yeah. It is fabulous. I love you. I love her. I love you. She's <laughs> just got a heart of gold yeah. and she just got so much information, so much enormous energy. At 225 Lafayette, and I remember the first day, and the model was Andrew. Oh. Do you remember? 1992, February. Yeah. <laughs> so it's been a long time, is what I'm trying to say. It's, it's like, it's a life. Anyway, I'd like to just say that it's been a very beautiful, long, artistic life involved in the studio.